If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and I'm uploading daily videos called 365 Thoughts on Confidence because confidence is a daily practice and the more we think about it, talk about it and take action on it, the more confident we become. And this world really needs more feminine input, influence and impact and confidence is the key to making that a reality. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscription button and the notification button to make sure that you get your daily boost of confidence. So today is day number 158 of 365 and the thought of the day relates to taking action. So are you ready to take action for your confidence? So let's take a look at what today's thought on confidence is. You either make progress or you learn something. In yesterday's video, we spoke so much about what that key ingredient is to being a successful, confident woman. And it comes down to action and taking action in spite of your fear. And I know, I know what talk comes up in your head when you are faced with taking that first step. What if I get it wrong? What if I make a mistake? What if I fail? We've all been there and we've all done that and that's just our fear having its little pity party because it can see that you're about to take a big bold step. It can see that, whoa, things are about to change here. But in spite of all of those concerns, and they are valid concerns, yes, that absolutely might be the outcome. You might make, make a mistake because you don't have all the information and yes, you might get it wrong and yes, you absolutely could fail. But it's all about how you choose to see those perceived negative outcomes. You can either buy into all of that fear, you can either buy into it and, and take it at face value. But another option, and in fact the better option, is to reframe it and accept that while those might be very real outcomes that you experience and while they might not be ideal and they might, they might not be what you want, whatever happens, is for your benefit and the way that they are for your benefit is because a you have taken that first step which is already far more than probably 80 percent of people on this planet do taking that step taking that leap of faith in spite of the fact that they are scared shitless the majority of people would succumb to that fear and not take that step so that right there is already a win the fact that you've made progress you've gotten out of the starting blocks and the second win is that whatever the outcome, good or bad, you learn something. You learn something about the process you have to take to get to whatever it is that you're striving for, whether it is a specific goal or it's a specific state of mind or a specific state of being. Whatever it is that you're striving for, that you desire, that you know if you were to achieve it, you'd feel better about yourself. Whether you reach that target in this instance, on this particular outing, is irrelevant really. The fact is, you will learn something along the way. You will either learn, yes, this is how I can achieve this thing, or you will learn, no, this isn't the way I'm going to achieve it. And then at least you are at a higher level than you originally started at. So that's not a failure, that is just a tangent. That's just a little sidetrack to teach you something you needed to know to be able to equip you to get to the actual outcome that you were looking for. So even though this detour over here isn't where you want to be right now in this instance, it was still part of your journey. It had to happen so that you could learn whatever is over here to get you over there. So I find when I take the time to reframe this thing that I'm looking at, this you know, adventure I'm about to embark on and I feel the fear of failure making itself known, when I take that time to reframe it and, and kind of detach from the outcome and recognize that wherever I land up after taking that first step, I'm in a better position. It's a win-win situation that kind of takes the pressure off. It really does. And then suddenly that fear isn't quite so quite so poignant or quite so it isn't quite so sharp anymore what's the word it's not quite so pungent it kind of dulls that fear because yes I may not get to the outcome that I want right now but I'm certainly edging my way closer to it and that's better than where I am now before I've taken a step so 
we have that choice to reframe it and, and to look at it in a positive way. And I can't see that there would ever be a situation where that's not going to make you feel more confident. Because when you take failure out of the equation completely, it's all you're left with is winning. It's a win-win. You learn something or you make progress. You're a step closer to the outcome that you're looking for. That's all you get. And so it's kind of, everything's rigged in your favor. It's like the odds are stacked in your favor and whatever you do, it's a favorable outcome. And that feels freaking awesome. So remember that the next time you are faced with taking a scary step, when you're faced with, well, this might go tits up and I might fail completely and fall flat on my face. When you're faced with that perceived dilemma, just remind yourself that actually I've got nothing to lose because I'm either going to edge my way closer to my goal or I'm going to learn the skill or the talent or get the experience or the knowledge that's going to edge me closer to my goal. There is no losing here. We are all winners. Winners. We are all winners. So try that tip, put it into practice. This is all part of our confidence workout. You've got you've to show up, you've got to do the work in order to see the results, just like going to the gym. Let me know if anything resonated with you. Pop it down in the comments below. Leave your questions, opinions, thoughts. Let's open the discussion and keep the conversation going. And otherwise, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button. And most importantly, share this video with a friend of yours who needs her daily boost of confidence. Let's pay it forward. Let the ripple effect go. I hope you have a fantastic day. Whatever you do, do it confidently. Remember, there is no failure. It's a win-win situation. Whatever the outcome, it's for your benefit. So go out there, be your most confident self, and I'll see you again tomorrow.